Time. Chicago is celebrating a decade of decadence in the West End tonight with a special charity gala performance at the Cambridge Theatre in aid of Breast Cancer Haven and the Breast Health Institute. The show has played to over 17 million people around the world and we were there to meet the stars, both past and present, to find out what makes this musical the hottest show in town. It's just the all singing, all dancing great show. It really works. It's sexy, it's sassy. The different people playing the different parts. Just amazing. What a treat. It was really fresh and it was, it was just great to see people that we'd missed first time round. What really did it for me tonight was the section that Ruthie Henshaw did. Because I, she was just so mesmerising to watch. It started ten years ago and we all can't actually believe it because you know, when you actually think about the last ten years, yes, you can believe it, but it seems like yesterday. The baby's grown up, you know. Ten years ago, we began here in London, and uh, nobody even knew what Chicago was. When Fosse did it, it was sort of a bleak satire of America, and by the time we got back to it, it was like a documentary. I think it's still very current. It's very topical, because it's just all about fame and celebrity and infamy. I think it kind of sums up the era that we live in today. I mean, this show is based on a true story from the 1920s, but we live in an, uh, the era of celebrity, and, and um, this, is, in very many ways, is a cautionary tale. It is a very contemporary show. Uh, the architecture of the show fits uh, the modern uh, aesthetic. Everything is clean, cut, minimalist. The show is like a perfect show. It's so lean and economic, nothing extra. Just the band on stage and people are telling the story. It's so simple. It's really lean and economical um, and the music is to die for. It's got so many um, factors in it that are relevant to today. The celebrity factor. She's got everything. As a dancer, a singer and an actor. And you also get to be comedic. You get to, to be sexy. I don't have to wear see-through sort of stocking tops as parents. I get to wear a cardigan. What I love about it is the casting. They bring people like Kelly Osborne in. She's the boss of everything. She knows what's going on at all times. And she's kind of like school gossip, like I was. <laughs> Every time there's a new celebrity coming in to play that role, it creates a different kind of interest. It gives something a different dynamic to the, to the actual show. did three months uh, as Billy Flynn. Uh, loved every minute of it. Still in touch with a lot of the cast as well. This show is a, is a woman's world. They're very good roles for women. Bob Fosse created some really feisty roles. It's about strong women. I think that's the connection. And, uh, and you know, breast cancer and the Haven Trust and everything is all about women fighting back. For Breast Cancer Haven and for the Breast Health Institute, it's been a fantastic opportunity just to, to get the word out about the work that we're doing. They very kindly asked from it in the past to be Mama Morton, to play the role of Mama Morton. It's always a different audience and it's always a different cast every now and then. Um, and so it's always keeping it fresh. There's a good book and good songs, good lyrics, good tunes, and ladies in underwear. So it's going to be a really good lineup. so uh, get your tickets. <laughs>